I want to get to Naples instead. Kingman Schultz is with us now. He's the fire chief in Naples. How are things? Are you ready there? Yeah, thanks for having us, Shepard. Yeah, we're hunkered down. Uh, we're watching your uh, report from Steve. We're just a few miles from him, and uh, we're preparing for that landfall, but we're, uh, we're experiencing gusts of over 100 miles an hour at this time. Already gusts at 100. Your, your people aren't out and about, I would hope. No, we, uh, we terminated our responses at about 11 o'clock this morning, and uh, we're doing nothing but staying in our stations. We do have reports of uh, stations uh, that are damaged. So we're trying to uh, make sure that we can assess our internal assets before we can even get out here in the next 12 hours. But back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, I was a bureau chief there in Collier County and worked in Naples for years. And I remember distinctly when the storm starts to coming, uh, Neapolitans don't always go a running. Uh, I, I wonder yeah. if they did this time. No, um, you're right, Shepard. I remember those days well. And it is, uh, unfortunately, there's still a lot of people that are here. And uh, we're going to try to tend to them. Unfortunately, right now, we cannot make uh, any headway out there in the street. So we're just uh, asking everybody to find a safe place in their home and uh, be with their families. And uh, we will get out as soon as we possibly can. Uh, we, we've just gotten some video. And what bat is this? Four. On bat four, if you could take it in the, in the control room. Uh, just got this video from a Naples resident of the Gordon River, just east of where Steve Harrigan is live, emptying into the Gulf of Mexico. The, the folks there say they've never seen anything like it. The, I don't know if you can see on your TV right now, Chief, but the water is is rushing like a river under there. Yeah, and I'm watching it. Actually, what's happening in the way the, the effect of the storm surge could be worse after the eye passes us because of the counter rotation. Of course, we're on the west side of the peninsula. So what you're seeing is a lot of the, the tide water is actually moving out. Um, and then after the eyes, we're going to get the significant storm surge after. Down in our southern area, the district around Naples, um, we're expecting a 15 to 20 foot storm surge. Uh, Marco Island is down south from you. It sounds like if it holds and doesn't wobble, Marco Island will take this thing uh, as a head on, and then it'll head up toward Naples. I would guess it'll be an hour, an hour later, it, it'll be at you. Do, do you have a sense for what's to come with 120 mile an hour winds and, and a 10 to 15 storm surge? Well, sure, I, I do from my experiences with Andrew and Katrina, but you know, um, our fire district goes from the city of Naples down to the Marco Island Bridge. Uh -huh. So we're in very close contact with both of those folks. And you're absolutely right. We're looking at about 45 minutes after that. But uh, a storm surge of 10 to 15 feet um, really can be life threatening. We, uh, we are anticipating uh, major structures or loss, uh, loss to those structures. And of course, the, 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 the increase in the, in the height of the, the water is just is what is going to be absolutely. Uh, uh, catastrophic. You know very well that corridor up 41 in Collier is very, very low, and we're already seeing flooding, and we don't even have that uh, tidal surge in yet. Yeah, I, I, this idea of a 10 to 15 foot storm surge above ground level, not above sea level, but above ground level across your whole region, it's just, it's really stomach turning. It, it, it's hard to believe that this is this is actually happening. Yeah, to put it in perspective, we have 15 fire stations in our fire district. And uh, I think last count, we have about six of those that we've had to vacate before the storm even gets here. So because if not, we're going to lose our fire apparatus. And we've got to protect our people. So, um, you know, half of our force has already moved to higher ground. Chief, all the best there in southwest Florida across all, all of Chief Schultz. We, we really appreciate it. Good luck to all of you and be well. Yeah, thank you. And keep our first responders in, uh, in your thoughts. We always do and always will. Chief, thank you.